Well, today I'm going to show you how I'm going to replace the gasket on my wood stove. This is what my wood stove looks like. And uh, I am replacing this gasket that goes all the way around the door here. And uh, I got this kit off of uh, off the internet. I ordered it from Lowe's, and I think it was about $7, something like that. And uh, I may have had to pay a few dollars for shipping to get it here, but... Uh, no big uh, no big deal on that. So anyway, what I'm going to do is take a uh, screwdriver and you can see the seam here. This is where the gasket came to this point and uh, that's where both ends met up. So I'm going to take this screwdriver and I am going to pry in there and get it out. And you can see that this thing was not held in there that good uh, from before. So I definitely need to make sure I get this cleaned out real good and put me some uh, some of the glue in there that comes in this kit. So, uh, man, I am glad I am getting this done. I've been needing to for quite a while. Reason you wanna do this is uh, keep smoke from, uh, from escaping from there. And um, I could be wrong on this, but if I'm not mistaken, you can actually get carbon monoxide uh, from these things. I, again, I could be wrong on that, but uh, my particular wood stove here does have a uh, catalytic converter and uh, that may or may not uh, be the difference, but I don't recall where I heard that from that you can get carbon monoxide from these, but uh, again, that I could be way off. So what I wanna do now is I wanna take some sandpaper and I wanna sand in this uh, seam right here and make sure I get this nice and cleaned out so that when I try to take this glue here, and uh, glue this rope into place that uh, that it stays in there. And uh, so anyway, I'm gonna get some, uh, some sandpaper and let me get the sanding through there. My goodness, you would not believe how hard it was to get this package open. I had to get out some scissors, pocket knife, chainsaw, uh, fighting sword. I had to get all kind of stuff just to open this package. Now, all that's in here is rope and some glue. Man, they had this thing locked down like Fort Knox as if they was really trying to protect something heavy in there. Then you get a light bulb. A light bulb comes in a cardboard container. How about that? You can open it real easily. They don't worry about you busting it, getting cut. A light bulb is protected by cardboard, but rope is protected by plastic wrapping. Awesome. So anyway, I got this thing opened up now and uh, gonna see what the directions tell me to do as far as applying the glue and the rope together and uh, we'll see what I need to do next. And to remove my door and make it easier to put my rope back on, I can take these pins out of the door hinge here and uh, once I get those out, then I can lay the door flat. Some doors just lift straight off of the hinges. You'll have to check yours and see what uh, how yours works if you do want to remove the door completely. Okay, so what I've done is I've uh, taken the glue that uh, came with the kit and I put, the, put a bead down in this uh, channel here, just as it said to. And now what I'm gonna do is take this uh, rope. You do not want to stretch this rope. In other words, you don't want to pull it because if you do pull it, it makes the rope more narrow. You want this rope to be as fat as you as it can be. So what you're trying to do now is just stuff it down into the trough and go all the way around doing that all the way around. So most people suggest to do it here. You, This is a starting point. I like to do it at this position because this corner here is at the hinge corner. And to me, I feel like this will always be a tight seal so if I'm gonna have a gap, which of course there will be a gap, I would much rather it be right here than it be right here in the center of the door. So to me, that would give it a tighter seal and that's what I'm after. So anyway, everybody's different, but uh, most people do suggest putting your breaking point of the rope here, but not me. So anyway, let me stuff this in there and I'll get back to it. And now I've got it uh, laid in here, what I do is again here is where I have the seam. I take my fingers and I kind of roll it back this way just to kind of make sure I'm pulling towards this seam. And as I'm 
going around, I am headed back towards the seam again as I'm just trying to roll this down into this little trough that I cleaned up and that I put the glue into. And that way, as I'm working my way back towards this seam, you can tell I really don't have a seam anymore. So that way, uh, if you had it right here, to me, that's just too easy for it to leak. But, but being in this corner here, it's always gonna have a lot of pressure against it with those hinges right here. So uh, anyway. Let me get this door put back on uh, while this glue is still a little wet and that way uh, the seal will be able to push itself together as tight as possible with me putting the door back on. Well, I have my door put back on and I have my handle to where it's just barely turned and if I was to push it all the way down, it would put a lot of pressure against it. Right now, I'm just kind of easing it in a little bit at a time uh, every five to 10 minutes, I'll come over and push this down just a little more. And within 20 minutes, I'll have it uh, completely closed up. What I'm trying to do is just ease this in a little bit at a time. I'm going to let this uh, dry, the uh, glue in there dry for about 10 to 12 hours, and then I'll start a very light fire in there. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, not a bad job. And this door is definitely fitting a lot tighter than it was before. So hopefully this will work out for y'all. And I sure appreciate y'all spending some time with me today. Give me the like and subscribe and all that great stuff if you hadn't done so already. I hope to see y'all real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.